There's a cool little Mitsubishi Delica. Uh, it's like a van, that's funny. Yeah. Zoom in here, that's what I'm talking about there. Um, so this is kind of nice. You got a little bumper in the front, trail jack, and uh, sunroof solar panel here. Must have some kind of system where it unhinges and then slides back out to the top. You can see this is actually the same, uh, the fairing right there that you'd usually see on a rooftop tent. Kind of like that wind uh, buffer. And actually pretty cool. Yakima rooftop box here and you've got a luggage rack system here this is completely kitted out another solar panel right here these guys are not messing around um, this is actually pretty interesting i'm curious if they bought it like that or this is something they actually did and outfitted this whole system here it looks like all their water and everything else running through there more solar panels um hey that how you doing 65 watts of solar. <laughs> this is your rig yeah. do you mind being on camera no, not okay not. this is absolutely amazing <laughs> i was actually looking at uh your uh, system down there the water system yeah, is that the water that's system. yeah so, you built this all yourself uh i won't say all myself yeah. uh there's a big community of friends that came together to kind of help us throughout five years of building it oh this um, is a five-year build yeah essentially <laughs> uh and it just finished um about a, a couple weeks ago so you know it's it's actually harder to do something like this with something so small than it is with a sprinter van exactly right? yes because you've got more room to work with yep yeah. yeah so here we have to optimize everything i don't know if you took a look underneath our rear hatch yeah. here um we even cut out the panels here so we could fit our bike helmets and bike shoes Absolutely in that amazing. space so basically every millimeter of space has been optimized okay so what was your passion or what why build the van why'd you build the van uh we've been on the road for 15 years uh spent 12 years in a 1988 ford festiva okay. um with 10 years with this wonderful woman here oh, there Raquel. she is in there cooking up something fierce <laughs> yeah <We're> making lunch <laughs> all right very um, cool so what where's the steering wheel what's going uh, on in here so both for adding a little bit more space when we're um camping for a long period of time or even a short period of time the steering wheel pops off okay. and then also if we leave the vehicle for a long period of time we can just uh, take the steering wheel with us and it makes it a little harder to take the vehicle ah, so, so it's uh, anti-theft a little bit anti-theft <laughs> but uh, mostly we use it for convenience like okay. now uh, just more space. It, yeah. It's amazing how much uh, just removing the steering wheel opens up the space. Yeah, well, like we talked about it, right? You're working with a small vehicle, yeah. so every bit of space yeah. counts. So yeah, you may think it's just a steering wheel, but it's a small vehicle. It's yeah. gonna make a big difference. Yeah, and it it is an 88, so we don't have an airbag to worry about. Oh, so, that's, so that allows that you allows to do us that. to do that. Not everyone can uh, remove their steering ah, wheel. Okay. So uh, what are you doing with the screen there? What is that? An iPad or? Uh, so we have a yep. Samsung. Um, Galaxy. S8, yeah. the, the biggest tablet they make, mostly because then it does split screen app, so okay. you can run five apps oh, yeah. at once. It's like Windows almost. Okay. Uh, and we've got an uh, infrared camera All right. on the front, so at night we can have the night vision up and we can watch the night vision on there, and then we can also navigate via there, um, do the entertainment, so playing music and whatnot goes through. Uh, right, the cool. tablet so. all right very nice you got a channel on, of some sort i'm assuming uh we're yoga slackers on the internet and okay. this is the slacker van right. uh we teach slackline yoga and acrobatics primarily uh but we do showcase kind of our nomadic lifestyle uh here and there on the channel as well so this is what you do for a living yep yeah i started the company in a again an 88 ford festiva back in 2005 okay um no yeah. corporate america for you I seem to have dodged that uh, particular <laughs> path. That's nice. That is nice. That's super cool. So what do you have on the roof? Like, what are, what are, what are we working with here? Uh, so we kind of were professional athletes. Raquel was a triathlete. All right. We kind of ran out of battery there, but we're not back. Do you remember what we were talking about? I <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about your roof rack. I think oh, it was yeah. the roof. What, yeah, your situation on the there? roof. Yeah. Um, so because we live full time in this, uh, this roof rack in the middle of summer now contains two pairs of skis, two snowboards, mountaineering boots, 
uh, some ice skates, and it's the winter side, so we've got our big winter coats in there and stuff, so we didn't actually open that for another two or three months. Okay. Um, the other side in the box uh, has camping gear, and we do a little bit of international travel, so like our regular rollerboard luggage stuff is in that side, okay. um, and then backpacks and stuff and tents. Slackline gear, yeah, we do. Uh, we teach slacklining, so we okay. have uh, ten slacklines that we can set up and, and facilitate classes that way. And how do people reach you for that? Uh, Yogaslackers.com. Okay, so yep. you just go out there. And, yeah. and where are you guys based out of? We're based out of the van, so we're all over the w world. But okay, uh, the van's all over the U.S. Yeah. and. We actually have a school, essentially, and we teach people how to teach what okay. we teach. And we have uh, 170 teachers uh, throughout the world. Oh, so super cool. Usually within a few hours of your location, someone can get there and, and facilitate a class. So. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And then we got paddle boards in the back one that I don't know if you can see back there. Uh, so there's three boxes on the top, um, paddle boards and boats in that one, paddles and things. And then uh, spare tire, extra five gallons of fuel on the, and tire chains and the rack there, so. Okay, I see that out there. Yeah, and then we added this just recently, has our kite board and kites in there for uh, kiteboarding uh, okay. in the back box. Big mountain bikers. Yeah, yeah, we've got to have the mountain bikes. Uh, very handy to have some sort of transportation when you're living out of your van and you make it into your uh, base camp. You mm -hmm. want to still be able to move around, so the yeah. bikes are a really good option for exactly. that. Exactly, or something breaks down, you know yep. you can at least get to civilization it, somewhere somehow. Yep, yep. Exactly. exactly. Very nice. And uh, the cooking situation, I see she's kind of just chilling in here cooking. Yeah. Showing you the healthy part of yeah. the meal. This yeah. is the healthy That's part of our being. No, 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 the unhealthy part. Oh, of wow. Yeah. That's amazing, though. Look at that. <laughs> Um, Super cool. Yeah, so long our long-term goals uh, uh -huh. is to get into an EV and live out of an EV. So we built this. Every system is electric in here. So we do electric heat, uh -huh. air conditioning, um, electric water heater even. Uh, so everything is off the sun and saving electricity. So uh, induction cooking, um, yeah, anything you can think of with electricity, that's what we're doing in here. Okay. It is a diesel motor, but everything else lifestyle-wise is electric. All right, let's walk over to the other side yeah. so we can kind of get an idea of this kitchen here. And uh, tons of solar, right? You got yeah. a lot of solar going on here. So we packed a thousand, just over a thousand watts of solar on board, and we have five kilowatts of battery storage from Battleborn Batteries. Um, okay. It's starting to rain now, so we shut our roof, but this opens up here, and then we can access all those roof boxes we were just talking about from ah. inside the vehicle. Okay. So. All right, yeah. very cool. And fridge situation? This is the fridge down there? Yeah. So, we have two. Two. so one fridge mainly for food and some drinks. And then we have a freezer that used to be, be the fridge in our smaller vehicle, which we added our favorite feature, which is adding a water bladder inside <laughs> it. And then we have this on a retractor so we can drink while driving. We okay. always have cold water. Yeah. Like a camelback that people would wear wear yeah. when they're hiking. Yes, You've got exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. It's nice and cool. <laughs> Very cool. Which actually helps us drink. I think before we had this, we had water with us all the time, but we never drank it. Okay. Very cool. So who's the brains behind all the organization in here? Is that you, like quintessential sexist thing, or is he actually doing all the all the organizing in here? We we both work pretty well. We both have good ideas, and then we try to work. On implementing it like Sam really wanted this overhead space uh -huh. I, I wasn't sure it was gonna work but now it's great like this is our um, spice rack let's say um, we made the van so at the time we were moving in and out of hotels mm -hmm. due to work so we wanted to grab everything quickly put it on the cart and move on so this has been working really nicely Okay. Like for example, our food, if, we, if we're going to cook at a friend's house, we might just take our entire food bean with us. Okay. Take it in and bring it back. All right. And we made all of this, these are corrugated plastic, so we made them to fit what we have. Like these pans fit perfectly sideways in here. All right. And we measure things like coconut water that we like to have, they fit perfectly. Perfect. So That's awesome. Happen. It's crazy what you guys have done with such a small space. I could not even imagine. I'm one of those people I spread out a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't live in a small space because I'm incapable of packing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that uh, We used to joke we were professional packers, if yeah. anything. Yeah. That's we what can... you have to be in order yeah. to make this work. Yeah. Yeah. Five play, here. Playing Tetris? 
as children, yeah. I feel it's come yeah. to good use. Yeah. So all those years, my parents were like, why are you wasting your time? No, no, look. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. Life, it was practice. It was practice for real life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, this is absolutely cool. All right.